Hey guys, this is my video on the best Android launches part 4. So if you have not been through my previous videos, the links are available in the description. Make sure you check that. And uh, all the launches that I'm demonstrating in this video are new to Android. So let's go ahead and have a closer look at it. The first one here is the 91 launcher. You can get this launcher for free from the Play Store and uh, you have very fancy transitions and loads of customization options with this launcher so as you can see I have a cool transition here and uh, you know creating folders is really easy with this launcher you just need to overlap just a second okay now I have these two icons I can just overlap them to create a folder so that's pretty cool and again, you know, you have uh, widgets from this launch itself, you know, like the Go Launcher. Uh, you can download widgets from the Play Store. And uh, you also have this page indicator at the bottom. You have the search button and this dock bar is swipeable. You can add additional apps to the next dock. So moving on to the app drawer now, you have all your apps here. All right. And you also can go to this widget tab. And guys, one thing, you know, you don't have any uh, system widget displaying with this uh, widget panel. Uh, I mean the widget tab. You have the widgets from this launch itself, like the one key clean, power saving, search and stuff like that. And uh, you also can download additional widgets uh, for this launch as well. And you also have this my phone tab where you get additional apps from this launch itself again, you know, like my battery. That This is for, you know, your battery management and power saving mode and stuff like that. And... Uh, file explorer my ringtone my themes you can get additional themes uh, for this launcher from the play store my wallpaper my apps my stories so these are the new things all right and you also can uh, customize your app drawer from transition to grid size you can hide applications and from here you know you can uh, change your effects and even for your app drawer as well you just need to press the menu button and you know you can change your theme you can change the effect you know the transition Right now I have this uh, pendulum, let's say I want this uh, shutter, alright, just a second, okay. Now, okay, cool, really fast, really snappy, no issues. Okay, there you go. You also can, you know, if you pinch out, you have all your home pages here, you can add, you can remove, you can edit your home screens, so that's pretty good. You also can do your additional settings from this uh, preferences menu. Here, you know, you have uh, customization options for your, you know, transition effect, grid size, 91 locker settings. So you also get uh, the 91 locker. Let me show it to you. Okay, this is the 91 locker. All right. Uh, he, here you have the time, battery percentage displaying, date and day. And if you pull this down, you'll have your general toggles. All right. And that's a pretty cool add-on. And you have this lock screen here, pretty much like the MIUI. Second. Okay, pretty much like the MIUI, you can go to camera, messaging, call, and unlock your phone. That's good. You just need to hit this 91 locker settings, and uh, you can add additional themes and stuff like that. You can do your font settings, folder style, show clock mask, large icon mode, show status bar. You can just hide it, and now it looks a lot more better without the status bar. You also can, you know, do your gesture settings. Just a second, let me just show it to you. On the desktop settings, you know, you have this uh, glide up action and glide down action. You, you also have other, you know, screen transition, desktop grid and stuff like that. So that's pretty good. So guys, you can go through this uh, settings and set up your launcher according to your preferences. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's my number one. So the next one here in my list is the Olympus launcher. It's available for free in the Play Store. You can just download it. And this is the Olympus launcher and you can see the icons. It's cool. It's unique. And this is the app drawer. All right. Nothing much. Pretty simple. No widgets tab. Any additional tabs. And uh, you cannot do any additional settings for this app drawer. You can just go through all your apps from here. And again, you know, you have all your home pages. And guys, you have secondary dock as well. You can add additional apps here. So, again, you know, if you want to add any of your application to your home screen, you can just tap and hold that icon and go on to that home screen and just leave it. So that's pretty much it. And again, guys, if you want to create any folders, add widgets to your home screen, tap and hold any certain area. And you have this add 
options here you can add applications folders uh, sorry you can create shortcuts you can have widgets you can change wallpapers so really fast really quick a pretty cool launcher and guys you also can customize this launcher from this preferences from transition effect say 3d rotate scroll wallpaper okay quick launch settings uh Okay, top left. Uh, okay, uh, top left. This is for you know this uh, for multitasking purpose. I'll just show it to you. Now I go back. Now I have this 3D kind of uh, rotation effect. I hope you can st see it right there. And now this is this quick launch. And you can add additional applications here to launch that app quickly. So pretty handy, pretty cool. I'll definitely recommend you to try these launches, guys. And guys, the last one for this video is the ARM launcher and it's again free from the Play Store, you can just download it. You have this pretty simple uh, basic user interface that you get with your general launchers like Nova Launcher, Apex Launcher, Holo Launcher. You also have this uh, secondary dock where you can add additional applications to launch it quick. Again, and onto your app drawer, you have this list of applications here. You also can change this uh, viewing style like right now I have this uh, vertical uh, scrolling and uh, now I can enable this uh, horizontal paging like this sideways so guys again with this launcher here as well you have the sidebar here and you can customize it uh, it's like you know multitasking is easier with this uh, option these days these uh, sidebars have been on trend with this smartphone users so it's pretty cool let's move on to preferences now the RM options so you can enable direct dial number of screens you can do this basic setup, you can choose your drawer type, sidebar configurations, you can do this, you can select any of the place where you can uh, just make a swipe and launch that sidebar. And uh, you know even from here you can just uh, do additional settings you know for additional effects and stuff like that. So guys you can just go through this additional settings, this is just a demo, all the launches are really good, really fast, really smooth, go ahead, try it and just leave your feedbacks in the comment section so guys i'll be covering more launches new launches for android devices so stay subscribed bye bye now and have a great day